Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, CEO of Investiva.com. We had a ton of updates on Thursday. Bank of England held monetary policy but forecasted low interest rates for longer. Swiss National Bank left the base rate unchanged while cutting growth and inflation view. Employment in Canada increased by 49,300 jobs in August 2019 and Australia's net employment uh, added 34.7K in August, but the unemployment rate ticked up to 5.3%. Meanwhile, oil prices rose again as Saudi supply risks come into focus. We have a relatively quiet Friday ahead of us with the biggest risk event coming from Canada as they release their retail sales for July. Today I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair which reversed its bullish movement and dove inside the Ichimoku cloud as a jobs report in Australia disappointed. From a technical point though, we were expecting a pullback after 10 days of consecutive gains. The next support level lies at the lower band of the Ichimoku cloud at around 72.53. We will be following the price action next week to see if this is just a temporary pullback or a bearish trend reversal. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our social media. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.